Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today we are on another bikepacking trip. Today you're joining me in Exeter because we are going to start the East Devon Trail. It's quite a new trail created by Catherine Moore. It's around 100 miles so we're going to do this as like a little overnighter I think. Um, the clouds are looking like they're about to unleash hell on me so we should definitely make a start on this ride. Let's go. Nice little start to the ride. First eight and a half miles is all really flat. Nice cycle way out of Exeter along the uh, estuary. Um, but this ride is definitely going to be a not easy ride. It, it's not too long, at over, just over 100 miles. But being a coastal ride and Devon, it's, uh, there's some definite steep climbs and I know them all too well. Right, okay, let's continue up along the coast and uh, see what else this uh, route has in store for us. I'm predicting lots of hills. And it has also been raining quite a bit the last couple of days, so the trails may be nice and fun and slidey. Let's do it. Through. Right guys, so first 30 miles done and I've got to say pretty much it's been like really nice and flowy like nice open i won't say like gravel tracks but they're kind of like rocky gravelly silty kind of tracks nice open lots of views with some really really fun bits of single track basically no hiker bike like tiny little sections of like little steep sections um but generally just like really really nice we've done 30 miles i'm currently at sidmouth now on this trip i'm obviously going to be wild camping as always but i brought the hammock a hammock might be a challenge on this trip, I don't know, but it's currently about half six and uh, I basically need to start looking for somewhere to camp. I was planning to um, get some fish and chips in Sidmouth, but everywhere is like, like a pub or a restaurant and I just want like an old sort of takeaway fish and chips. So I think we'll save that for tomorrow, maybe at Lime Regis, which will be a good sort of place because that should be around lunchtime. Nice sit on the beach, probably in the rain, hopefully not, but who knows. So I need to go find somewhere to hammock camp. I'm hoping as I climb out of Sidmouth, um, we might find some trees. Fingers crossed. Right, let's go and find somewhere to camp. 
So far, so good. find somewhere to camp. Obviously I brought my hammock uh, which has made it a bit more difficult but it's definitely one of these routes that you want to be on the um, the bivvy, the stealth camping. And wow as I've been coming along all the cliff tops there isn't too many trees. Um, right now I've just come through Seaton? I think it's Seaton. Um, if it's not whatever it is I'll put it on the screen. Now this route goes up to like a bird watch towery bit. Now possibly you could sleep there but I have a feeling it's going to be more uh, more like a popular one that gets actually shut. We're gonna have a look, we're gonna go check it out anyway. It's a nice sort of time of the day, the sun's starting to set. If not though we'll have to sort of whiz back and carry on along the coast and then uh, we have to find somewhere at some point, so let's just go and check this birdwatch tower out. Why not? As much as I would love to just uh, sit here all night, I think they lock it. I'm not sure if they do, but yeah it's a bit close it's not like the one we slept in the other day where it was in the middle of properly nowhere this one is a bit a bit close to everywhere so we just gotta keep carrying on fingers crossed we're gonna find some trees there are some trees over there but who knows if i go through them yeah probably should have brought the bivy but we've done about 45 miles so far today, so doing pretty good. All right, really this time I will see you at camp. Good morning guys, good morning. Last night we did finally find somewhere to camp. Just coming into Lime Regis, like a few miles before Lime Regis. It's about half five in the morning. Had a really good night's sleep after I actually find, found somewhere. But that wasn't until like 10. Yesterday, all the trails were nice and fun, flowy. Started getting a little bit hikey after sort of like just before Seaton and a little bit after um just getting up on top of the cliffs and stuff but apart from that nice and fun now today is actually looking a bit better in terms of the weather it's right now at least it's not raining it doesn't say it's going to rain and it's actually a little bit sunny ah oh, super comfortable in this hammock today but it's time for day two of the East Devon Trail. Let's see what else this trail has to offer. Let's go.
sun just as it's heating up looking out to sea over the harbour oh that feels absolutely amazing now I'm in Lyme Regis it's half six I would kind of hoping to get uh, fish and chips in Lyme Regis I mean I was actually planning to get to here yesterday but trains being delayed and everything meant I was a bit behind um, so we're gonna have to go back to the uh, Good old fashioned Ginster's Cornish pasty for breakfast this morning and then hopefully later on in the day we'll find somewhere nice to sit down and have some fish and chips but it would have been really nice to have it looking over the sea. I can't see a thing. That's better, sort of. Ah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful morning. I think today is going to be a good day. We've now now we're in Lyme Regis, we're technically in Dorset, so we're going to head sort of north and then back into Devon. Have a us. And then, let's go. section here it's like a little obstacle course over one bridge oh so who roots for another bridge definitely doing this the wrong way I don't think we need that bridge. Another bridge. A little, uh, a little obstacle course for your bike packing trips. Here on the East Devon Trail. Oh look, more. 
over it is. Right guys, so I've just come through Honington, which means we've done about 25 miles for the day. We've got about 35 miles to go. Um, a lot of that section from Lyme to Hollington was, well, there was quite a bit of road, like this type of road, you know, really back lane, country lane sort of road, so nothing too bad. But one thing I will say, I really thought this ride was going to be like quite brutal with the hills, but to be honest, although there definitely are hills and there is definitely some hiker bike because of the steepness, for the most part, it's all rideable. The long climbs that there are tend to be on the country lanes. And the descents actually um, just feel pretty good, like when you get off road, it's uh, nice and flowy. But pretty much from now, I have not too much climbing left, apart from the one I'm about to go up. So I might be eating my words because the one we're about to go up is gonna be the steepest or the highest point of this ride. But after that, it's basically just one little bump, maybe two little bumps, and then just sort of up and down all the way to Exeter, possibly, who knows. But I am gonna have a quick pit stop. We've got a uh, Audi finest barbecue chicken and bacon wrap thing. And uh, we're probably gonna have fish and chips when we get to Exeter, I think, because I want it to be kind of coastal. Ladybug. Fly. Right. We're going to go and climb the highest point on this ride next. Let's go. guys made it back to Exeter all in all that was a pretty fun trip definitely more road towards the end on the way back um, but generally still a nice trip and a lot of fun the unfortunate thing is I've only got 20 minutes until my train and I haven't got fish and chips and uh, the nearest open one is miles away so we're gonna have to save that until next time. I can't believe I've just traveled all the way all the way around Devon and I wasn't able to get fish and chips. Typical. Right, if you enjoyed this overnighter bikepacking trip around the East Devon Trail, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and until next time, keep smiling. Enjoy the adventure. Peace. <laughs>